My name is David Silkenet. I'm a lecturer in American history and I'm teaching a class on the American Civil War and Reconstruction. We're right now in the uh, middle part of the Civil War sesquicentennial, so this is the 150th anniversary of the American Civil War. And that's been a makes it a very interesting and critical time to look at the Civil War and to look at the effects it's had on the United States in the 150 years since then. The central part of the course is about the war itself, about the conflict between the United States and the Confederate States of America between 1861 and 1865. But the course is really more than that. It's about the huge revolutionary transformation that happened in the United States in the course of the 19th century, looking at the social transformation, the cultural transformation, the ways in which questions about race and gender and class, and especially slavery, shaped the entire political and, and economic ethos of the country uh, during this critical period. To look at what's happening on the home front, to look at not only what the generals are doing, but what the common soldiers are doing and to look at the long memory of the war, the ways in which the war has shaped uh, Americans' conceptions of the past, the ways in which the war has made appearances in film, the way the war has manifested itself in the monumental landscape of the United States. And looking at some of those cultural and social questions, I think that's one of the things that's going to make this course different from a course that emphasizes the purely military and political aspects of the war. Well, my interest in the Civil War dates back to uh, when I was a fairly young child. I took a school trip to the Shenandoah Valley in particular. I remember the experience of, of walking on battlefields and, and the experience of seeing the landscape, and that was really uh, transformative for me in, in terms of my interest in the Civil War. One of the things I think is uh, critical for my role as a teacher in an online class is to give students a framework to do their own research, to have their own experiences connecting with the past, to have their opportunity to read letters home from soldiers or have read the diaries of their wives at home and trying to figure out how their lives were transformed by the war and have that own ex personal experience of reading about the past through primary sources. And given the amount of primary sources available online about the American Civil War that, that we now have access to. My role as a teacher is to help students develop their own interests and make their own personal connections and to have their own uh, emotional connection to the past, which is really what drove me to be interested in the Civil War in the first place. 